Okay, guys, here we are with the final mission ever on Super Dragon Ball Heroes. It's going to be Media Mission 6, uh, dropping in about three weeks on the 29th of August. So, yeah, the final mission, man, it's, it's wild. So, we've got Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Beat, as well as, like, I guess the main villains of the series. So, it's pretty cool, um, little art here. Um, also, we'll just quickly show uh, me and him's initial reactions to the um, Ultimate Rare cards of this mission. So, take a look. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. The last one, bro, holy shit. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Grand finale, bro, what the fuck? Grand finale. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are you in that old... I was probably like, yeah, I'm old. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm interested. Oh shit. Oh, yo. That's cool. Like, oh, uh, that's pretty dope, right? Like, oh, God, yeah, that's dope. That's cool. Yo! That's pretty sick, man. I gotta be honest. Like... Yo! We're getting like the whole fucking. Yo, buddy! Yo, boy! Oh, finally! Fucking finally! Fucking final lot! The last mission, bro! Holy shit! Oh, fucking finally, bro! Holy shit! So, as you saw, these are all based off the history of the series. So, the original Dribble Heroes card here. And then got uh, Galaxy Mission, Jerky Mission, God Mission, SVH. Uh, two for Universe Mission, which is pretty cool. Big Bang Mission, Ultra God Mission, and Meteor Mission. So, no new attacks here, guys, which is unfortunate. Um, all reused attacks, unfortunately. But there are two new HD models. i uh, got this version of the Trunks Xeno in the base form. And, as you saw, I was really hyped about. I uh, finally got Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. And, like, not the Limit Breaker one. Like, the standard Super Saiyan 4 finally got HD model. Which is, you know, about fucking time, right? On the last mission. So, uh, 10 cards. Let's go through them one by one. First of all, we've got the uh, Super Saiyan Goku uh, card, so pretty cool. Got Kamehameha, and he's got a Hero's Rush for his card action ability on the second round with uh, Super Saiyan Beat. And this will uh, nullify the target's damage reduction. And if you also pair it with a Hero Avatar, um, you will also nullify their guard, so that's pretty good. And then for his main ability, at the start of the battle, he'll get 70% damage reduction, which is pretty nice, that's permanent. And if he attacks by himself, he'll attack twice that turn, so it's pretty nice too. And uh, he also boosts uh, the damage of all your ally supporters by 50%, and that's permanent, so an extra 1.5 times boost for them. Um, every round potentially as well, so that's pretty good. And if there's uh, 4 enemies or more, then uh, the more enemy attackers there are, the bigger the boost will be. So pretty good, once again, we don't know how much that boost will be, but that's pretty good I think. Um, especially just using him to tank the damage is pretty nice. Next up we have Super Saiyan 4 Goku GT. Um, once again, really good art on the cards there. Um, so we are sparking on the third round, and this will do extra damage. 50% uh, more damage for every hero energy you have. So if you've got 10 hero energy, it will do 6 times damage, which is pretty wild. Also, what to say, it's got the times 10 coming out of my heart there. Uh, I'll say unit, with, this is with Beat and Vegeta GT for 4 energy. Uh, for that round, it will nullify all the enemy's fixed power levels. And also lower their power levels by 65%. So that's really, really good uh, for going first that round. Now for his main ability, uh, before you make your move each round, all of your allied Goku GTs, Gohan GTs, Goten GTs, Vegeta GTs, Trunks GTs, and Pans, where their stamina are restored, and the damage and power level that turn will be doubled. And the longer the battle goes on for, the higher their damage and power levels will go to. So that's pretty good. Um, I think also pretty solid, especially with that unit. That's a really good unit. Next up is Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta GT. Uh, final shine attack is the super attack. Uh, his kind action ability is the double attack super. The uh, member being Goku GT. Now the basic effect for this is that it will increase uh, both members damage reduction by 30%. Of course with Goku as the member it will be even more reduction there. Um, I actually made a mistake sorry, earlier with the Goku GT. Um, his members for his unit will actually note and Vegeta GT. Not uh, beat and Vegeta GT, it's note and Vegeta. So for him, Vegeta's unit, it's uh, Beat and Goku GT. So yeah, I kind of messed it up. But the unit's the same as the Goku's. So they're both really good units there, of course. Now on to Vegeta's main ability. Uh, when he's in the attack area each round, he'll increase the power of all allies by 5,000 permanently, and also lower their cost uh, for the super attack by one. So that's pretty good too. And if there's a Goku GT in your ally attackers, um, or in the attack area, sorry, then the effect will be increased. So that's pretty good. So good to use them with a, good to use these two cards together, I guess. Um, also, when the enemy team attacks you, uh, you'll lower the energy by one uh, for every ally supporter you have that round. So yeah, these two together I think will be a really good combo. 
especially both having the same unit, that's really good. Um, I guess if you have either Note or Beat, you can get one of them off. So that's pretty good. Um, definitely a nice card. Next up, we've got actually Springcraft Time, not Trunks. It's kind of hard to tell who's the main character here, but it is Springcraft Time for this card. Uh, got Meteor. This is the same effect as the UGM5 IOS. Uh, lowers all the enemies' power down to one uh, that turn, which is pretty, really good. Or well, the next turn yeah, after you throw it. Uh, unit for one energy, members being Trunks, Xeno, and uh, Goku. This will permanently increase all of your allies' miracle chances rate. That's pretty good. Main ability, um, instead of each round, if she has at least one bar of stamina, then you get one energy. And uh, the lower your HP is, uh, the more energy you'll get. So that's pretty good. And whenever you use a ultimate unit, uh, then during that round, all the enemies' uh, damage will be halved, and their status speeds will be increased by a lot. So not bad. Um, I would say good synergy with her unit and her ability, because they're both one energy. One energy cost and one energy she gains at least, so that's pretty good. Okay, the first of the new HD model cards, we have Trunks Xeno. He's got a counter rush, uh, which will do three times damage. Pretty good there. Also units for three energy with Springcraft Time and Goku Xeno. Uh, and it will, for that round only, uh, disable all enemies' miracle chances, and they kind of take together, so that's pretty good too. There's main ability, same condition as the IOS. Um, so each round, if he's got at least one buff stamina, um, he'll have all the enemy's power and guard permanently, which is pretty nice. And uh, when he's in the attack area, all the enemy supporters and any enemy attackers with less than 100 power will have their damage and their power levels halved too. So potentially, uh, power, guard, damage, and power levels all halved. So pretty nice um, if you get it off. Okay, now we have the Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta from Universe Mission. Uh, he's got a combined Kamehameha. This will give both members 5k power level increase, pretty nice there for sure. Uh, no unit with this guy. Uh, if his main ability is out of each round, his power will be permanently doubled. But if there's any enemies with more power than him, it'll be 4 times power instead of 2 times. So pretty good there potentially. And uh, when you put him in the attack area, if there's at least 5 enemies on the enemy team, then any allies with less power than him will basically use his power that round. So like... They can potentially like share his power, which is pretty nice if he's getting four times power every turn, right? So definitely not bad there for sure. Okay, Vegito Super Saiyan 4. So finally got an HD model um, along with Trunks, and easily my most wanted out of these 10. Looks really, really good. So first of all, he's got a Kessel Lock with two effects. Um, first of all, he'll steal 30k power from the target, and also the target can't attack with any others. So the target has attacked by themselves. So pretty good there for sure. Really, really nice fix there. Unit with Goku and Trunks Xeno for two energy. Uh, this will make it so all, everyone, so your allies and also the, all the enemies, um, their super attacks will become available that round. So potentially like, kind of risky, but because everyone on the field gets attacks available. So but pretty interesting, I guess. Cheap as well, 42 energy, low cost. Uh, main ability is pretty good too. So we make a move each round. Um, if you got, uh, if your ally attackers have uh, higher total power uh, than the enemy attackers that round, then all the enemies' Miracle Perfect chances and Rival Chance be disabled that round, so really, really good. And also, if you've got, uh, if you've, if you've got uh, less attackers than the enemies, so you've got, if you outnumber that turn, uh, then all the enemy attackers' uh, Super Attacks will be disabled too. So that will, of course, work well with the unit. Um, all those ability effects here are only for that round, but they're all really good, right? Okay, now on to Big Man Mission, we've got a Universal Blue Goku. So not a form that has many cards, of course. Uh, really low cost for his attacker though, 5 energy is really, really cheap, nice stuff there. Uh, got a bear rock crash as his uh, card action ability. This will lower the target's power by 5k and also increase the CI speed by a lot. Pretty nice. A unit with uh, Goku Xeno and Springcraft Time, 3 energy. Uh, this will permanently nullify all the enemy's miracle chances and increase the CI speeds by a lot too, so really good there for just winning those CIs I guess, with this guy. And he kind of needs to, because every round uh, he'll get double damage inside of each round, which is nice. And it's permanent too. And when he's in attack area, um, he can't attack with anyone. So he's got to attack by himself. Um, but for every bar of stamina he uses, he gets more damage added on to when he wins the CI at the cost of having a faster CI. So the more stamina he uses each round, he'll get a really fast CI speed. But then if he wins it, he'll do massive damage. So pretty risky. Um, but yeah, could be pretty strong. I mean, double damage alone is really good every turn. So yeah, potentially pretty high damage deal at this one. Okay, once again, a confusing card, this one. You think it's Goku, but it's actually Ios, this one. So, yeah, it's Ios, this card, not Goku. Um, unfortunately, got a really high cost for attack. Eight energy is kind of high. I don't know why it's so high, but anyways. Uh, it's got a Reflect as a card action ability. Uh, this will increase the target's CI speed by a lot. 
and also permanently nullify their damage multiplier. So pretty good there, for sure. Our unit with Springcraft Time and Goku for 3 energy, uh, which will have all the enemies super attack damage permanently. So pretty good there, honestly, and quite cheap, so not bad. Main ability, um, start of the battle, should become immune to stamina damage, pretty nice, so it can't be a stun of course. And also attacks available permanently, okay, so that's fine. So she gets attack available regardless, so that energy cost won't matter most of the time. That's pretty good then. Um, and also if there's three or more enemies on the enemy team, uh, then whenever an ally is attacked, not her directly, but any other allies that are attacked, um, whenever, whenever they're attacked, her uh, damage for her uh, winning a CI will be boosted. So similar to the Goku from earlier, but instead of him where the more stamina he uses, he gets a boost in damage. Uh, for IELTS, it's whenever an ally is attacked, he'll get like an extra damage added on each time. So that's pretty good. And that's about it, yeah. So pretty good still. Um, both, I guess, high damage healers really is their main their main use, I suppose. Finally, we have an Ultra Instant Omen Goku. Pretty cool out there with all the squad lined up. Got a Sand Rush, which will restore the stamina to full. As well as times his power, guard, and damage by 3, so really, really good there. And his main ability is pretty good too. Uh, when he's in the attack area each round, he'll basically uh, protect all the ally attackers with less stamina than him. So if he's got more stamina than the ally attackers, he'll basically uh, prevent the those guys from getting attacked. So basically tank all the attacks himself. Um, and also at the end of the power level battle, his power and guard will be boosted by 1000 uh, times the amount of stamina bars you use that round across your whole team, right? So if your whole team uses, for example, 10 bars that round, his power and guard will be boosted by 10k uh, permanently too, which is pretty nice. And also he can't be stunned that round, so pretty good as a defensive card, right? Um, taking those hits, especially with the guard boost he can potentially, potentially get. Um, I think you know it could be pretty tanky, but um, we'll see. That's all for the main 10. We also have, like last mission, we've got the LC cards, the Legend Collection I think it's called. So 14 once again, we've got first of all, the original Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, uh, Cell Xeno, the original uh, secret Ultra Instinct Goku, the, I guess, perfected version. Uh, Majin Vegeta, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Beerus, the, uh, I guess, original Super Saiyan Goku. Yeah, the, I guess, like, the first transformation, I guess, is that what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, got the, uh, the BM7 uh, Ultra Instinct Goku, one of the most busted cards in the history of the game. The Super Saiyan 3 Goku, my most wanted out of these 14. Uh, Ios, original card of Ios, Delito Vegito. Uh, we've got the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and Limit Breaker Gogeta Zeno switch card, as well as the Super Saiyan Vegito and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks switch card, and lastly Goku, which I hate. But yeah, <laughs> pretty cool uh, lineup. Definitely think more hype than the last missions lineup. So also just like the last mission, there's no CP cards again, which is a bit of a shame. I've got those LC cards instead. And uh, yeah, I mean, nice selection of cards, I think. Just a little bit disappointed in terms of the, uh, it's like there's no like really new attacks so far. I mean, maybe Secrets might have something, but for the main UR, there's nothing really new in terms of animations, which is a bit of a shame. Like it was these cards plus another few would be nice, but that's how it is. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.